download the Basana app. Go to the Play Store and then type in the search Basana, B E S A N N A. Hit search. The app will show up. Install it. And that's it. Step two, open the Basana app and then type in your username or email and password and then hit the little arrow to go to the next screen. Step three, once you've input your username and password, hit the arrow and the Basana app will now ask you uh, to access the device's location. Click while using the app. Now you'll get this screen. It says we want to activate your scanner. To activate your scanner, you have to wake the scanner itself. And you do that just by putting it in your hand and touching the metal probes or sensors. And you'll see the light turns green. Then tap the middle of the screen, the little Basana icon here, and it will connect and you will see now my scanner is bound to my phone via Bluetooth. Set that down and let the purple light turn off. Step four, you wait for the light to turn off on the scanner because once that light is turned off, then the activation process is complete. So, here's what you're going to do on step four. Click the three lines at the top right of the screen, right here, and then go in and select under My Scanner. We're going to select how many items or results you want to show when in your scan results. You can grab this bar right here, and you can select anywhere from one, oops, one up to, all the way up to ten. In this case, I'm going to set mine at 5. So now when I run a scan, which is going to be the next step, every time you're going to see, in my case, 5 results, but you can show anywhere from 1 to 10 results. Step 5, we're now going to run a scan. Simply click the Scan button, and you'll see I'll have my default profile set, but I'm going to set another profile. Uh, profiles are just the people or the pets that you want to scan. To add a profile, I hit the plus button at the bottom, and now you can see I just type in the name, first and last name, and what kind of a scan I'm going to, the gender, what type of a scan I'm going to do, whether it's a person, a dog, or a cat. We'll do a person, and then and then I'll show you how to run a scan. Now that all the data is entered for this profile, I'm going to go ahead and run a scan. So I just simply hit Save and Scan. It tells me to turn on the scanner. Again, I do it the same way that I woke it up before. I'll turn it on this way. It'll turn green, and then it'll turn blue. Once it's connected, you can see it turns kind of purple and then blue and now the scan is running. In this case, I selected that I wanted to run for both oils and supplements. That's why I selected the All button at the scan. This takes about 15 seconds. You can see the scan's already done, and now I have my five results. Step six is how to read my results. So I just ran that scan and it gave me five results. As you remember, that's what I put in my settings. This is the scan summary. Um, so you can see for me, I scan for these five results. I can look at them quickly. And then if I scroll from the right to the left or, or swipe from right to the left, I can see more detail in each one of the results. In this case, it's Whisper. I get a short description here of what Whisper is. If I hit the More Information button, it gives me an expanded view. So I, again, I get that short description here. 
I get a uses description. It tells me what Whisper does for my body and for my emotions or for my mind. Sources, it's always going to be set at the, where I can purchase the products. And then a description, uh, it gives me a longer description. I exit out of that and I swipe to the right, or excuse me, from right to left to get more of the results and I simply can read the results in the same fashion, each one of them. Step seven is to share your scan results. So in order to do that, the best way that we've found is to take a quick screenshot of your scan results, go to your photos, find your latest screenshot, click on the share icon, and in this case, let's say we wanna send it to someone in our contacts, in this case it's Darren, and we can add our contact information, a little message, hit send, and Darren will now have his scan results or your scan results, whoever you want to send it to. To view a history of the scans that I've run or, or to see scans that I've previously run, simply click on the three lines on, up on the top right, select scan history, and now I get a list of all the scans that I've run on, with this scanner and with this app. One thing to note is that the Basana scanner always captures 10 items when it scans. You can decide how many you want to display. So again, I, just, I selected five, but I can go back and see in previous scans all the way up to 10. You simply do it this way. Click on the X to close out of that screen. I go into my scanner, and now I can select how many items I want to actually see once again on my, on my screen. So I can take this and I can scroll down to one or all the way up to 10. I'm gonna scroll all the way up to 10. So I click, I, I exit out of my scanner now that I've selected 10 items to show. And I go back into scan history and I'll see all of my previous scans that I've done before. I'm gonna select one, I'll select Alex Gonzalez. And as you can see, now I'm displaying 10 items that, uh, that showed up for the, you know, in the scan for Alex. And I simply just operate it the same way that I do as if I ran a brand new scan to see the items. One thing to note here is if I click on this item here, cilantro, for example, which was the first item that showed up for Alex, there is an alternative section. If I don't happen to have cilantro on my shelf, I can click alternatives and this shows me alternative oils, or it could be supplements, I suppose, that uh, that I might have on my shelf that I could then use to sell or use in, while I'm um, purchasing or waiting for shipment of this particular product.